Here we go. Hello, Green Thumb Gardener here today, and today we're gonna be building a great water system. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna drill in the bottom of the house, and then we're gonna put a pipe up there, and then we're gonna run the pipe out to the landscape. So you could use faucet water, but you might wanna have a on off switch or you know have a diversion where you could have the water coming down and it could go into the gray water or it could go into the sewer. Uh, those are, that's a pretty good option there because then you could use the soap, when you're using the soap, you could you know divert it so it goes to the soil, I mean to the sewer. And uh, when you're using the other kind, uh, just the clean water just for washing your hands or washing uh, rinsing off dishes and stuff you could have that irrigate the landscape and you could also use uh, water from your washing machine which is one of the most common things to do and it's pretty easy to do because it already has a, a pipe just sticking out the back of the washing machine and you could just connect right to that and that will uh, and then there's special soaps that you could use that are more environmentally friendly that are are meant for gray water for irrigating your landscape. Uh, there is going to be a built up of salt, so you want to check out and see what plants could tolerate salty conditions like that. Like the key apple that I'm growing, that one's really good for doing that, and bananas. And uh, the other soaps that were made illegal a while back are the phosphate soaps, and that's because that was all going out to the ocean, and then it was creating all these algae blooms, and so it was killing everything off, suffocating everything and killing everything off, so they made those illegal, but they would be really good for irrigating the landscape, so we'll see if they bring those back for that. Uh, there would have to be some regulation on it because we don't want it leaching back to the, to the bay because the algae bloom. So we'll get started on that. All right. All right, I just punched a hole in this end piece here. So uh, that's gonna clip on here and I'm gonna use a zip tie to secure that. Now I just gotta put this final piece on. All right, now there it is. Uh, there was a pergo pipe that was already in here. That's perforated pipe. And I just uh, went inside and by the laundry machine, I drilled a hole, two inch hole in the ground. Well, it was two and a half because the size of the pipe was two. Uh, so the uh, that diameter was actually uh, two and a half. So I had to do two and a half. And then uh, I just ran the pipe all the way out here and r made a, as straight a connection as possible. And the drain pipe on the, or the way that the water comes in is higher than than uh, any place else so that the water is going to drain always to the lowest spot by a gravity drain so that's it uh, now it's going to irrigate the yard now they have to use uh, you know special detergent that is okay for plants all right happy gardening